It's March, which of course can only mean one thing. March Madness is right around the corner. We have our two college basketball experts, Preston Willett and Julian Council, to look at some of the mid-major tournaments coming up. So let's start with the MAAC, the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. No. I can't believe I got that right on the first try. Preston, let's start with you. What do you think of this tournament? Well, the thing that makes this tournament so special is this is a high-scoring uh, conference. They've had lead, they have leading scores up in the top five every single year. This year they have Anton Mason of Niagara and Billy Barron of Canisius. Uh, but this is just a very exciting conference to watch the up-tempo style of play, and they have a lot of good teams this year, such as Iona, Manhattan. Uh, Canisius, uh, as we've seen and, here. And Canisius actually came to Elon yeah, early in yeah. the NIT season exactly. tip-off. We were very impressed with Billy Barron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Billy Barron, one of the highest scoring players in the country, like you said. Antoine Mason and Niagara really aren't having that good of a season, but really the front runners are in Iona and Manhattan. Manhattan and Jaspers were the preseason favorites to win this conference, so I got them winning this one in Springfield. All right, let's take a look at the Missouri Valley Conference, which has had, obviously, the undefeated Wichita State. Is anybody going to take down Wichita State? I think so, but first I gotta say, Julian, Arch, Julian, Arch, Julian, Arch Madness Julian. is one of my favorite conference tournaments. It always gets a, t a huge crowd, but I'm gonna right, say Julian, Northern stop, Iowa. Stop. Julian, stop. Northern Iowa. I let you talk the about the Panthers of Northern okay. Iowa Julian, are in a roll. You know got upsets. Yeah. Julie, I didn't interrupt you about Arch Madness because this is a great tournament. But yeah. at, what are you talking about? Wichita <laughs> State just finished the season under undefeated. I you know the closest. Iowa, um, you know Iowa the closest good, that Northern Iowa a came. A match the up. closest that Northern Iowa came. It was an 82-73 loss at Northern Iowa, what, and points? Wichita State was up 16 with two and a half remaining. Julian. Look, Two and a half remaining. Hey. They just let them come back into the game. They hey, let them shoot some threes happen, and some free Preston. throws. Anything can happen. It's conference tournaments. Anything can yeah. happen. But I do, like, I do like Wichita State's chances. Um, all right, let's look at the, or excuse me, the Ohio Valley. Preston. I got the upset here, uh, but this is a great conference overall. Belmont and Murray State are usually two front runners in this conference. Belmont are, with Rick Bird always has them ready to play, but Murray State's going to pull the upset because of the, the balance. Yes, yeah, the balance team that they have. Yeah. Five players, almost five players, averaging double digits on this team. They're always so balanced. If there's going to be any sort of upset in Ohio Valley, it's going to be Eastern Kentucky, who's a preseason oh, conference favorite. On. They return all five stars from last year. Really, we're supposed to have a good season. But I think Belmont's going to go ahead and win this conference are, anyway. All three of these schools that you guys mentioned are very prevalent, at least in the last mm. like 10 years, uh, in March Madness. Yeah. All right, last conference, the WAC. Um, St. Mary's, Gonzaga, BYU, big conference. Who you got? Yeah, West Coast Conference can be in Las Vegas. I, I have BYU. They don't really defend that well, but Tyler Haas, who's a conference player of the year. And boom. They, they put up boom. plenty of Boom. Gotcha, numbers. Julian. Don't defend well. Tyler Haas. Oh, okay. Yeah, they rely on Tyler Haas, and they don't play defense. They definitely don't they rely the worst, on Haas. They're tied for the worst defense in the, Western, in the West Coast Conference right now. I have Gonzaga doing this because they play defense and offense. Imagine that, playing two sides of the basketball. Now, do you see any of these teams, if they don't win the conference tournament, sneaking into the tournament? Absolutely. I Only think BYU. And BYU. I think BYU could get in. But same as the San same as we're gonna have to win the conference tournament. All right. Yeah. Last but not least, let's take a look at our own school. Elon suffered a pretty tough loss to Davidson at home on senior night on Saturday. They go to Asheville this weekend for the Southern Conference Tournament. Preston, let's start with you. What are Elon's chances of making it out of the SoCon Tournament? I'm going to go ahead and guarantee a win against Western Carolina. Guarantee? After, guarantee I like that. I like the after confidence. That, after that, I'm not so sure. I have them losing in the semifinals against Davidson just because, you know, we saw recently here against Davidson, they didn't do so well. Uh, but, you know, it would not surprise me if, they, if they're if they clicking in the tournament, and we've seen in the past, if you're clicking in the tournament, you could win the whole oh, weekend. Yeah. Yeah, Georgia. They're not. The they've they lost two straight, and you can't guarantee a win with Elon in anything. I think Western, I guarantee Western you, Carolina. I just did. I just did. <laughs> well, you did, but Western Carolina, they're going to have the hometown crowd. Cooley is not too far away. I think yep. Trey Sumler, who is all Southern Conference, will get the, th get the Lots job. Lots of seniors done. in this game. Yeah. So very Elon's going to bow out in the first round. It's going to mean a lot. Oh, I hope Elon doesn't bow out in the first round. <laughs> Saturday, 2 30. Yep. Check I'll it out. There. Coming up next, Jake and I get to relive the glory days. I promise you won't want to miss this.